Good morning once again. This is your Sir Ian. Last time we have our discussion about triangle similarity. Specifically, we talk about the AAA similarity theorem, SAS similarity theorem, and SSS similarity theorem. So those three are the similarity theorem that we have discussed last week. But this time around, we will be talking about right triangles. So without further ado, let's move on with the slides. Let's go. Okay, so let's open up our topic for today. And our topic for today is about similarity between right triangles. So we are through with the AAA, SAS, and SSS similarity theorems. So this time around, we will be talking about the right triangles. And not only similarity between right triangles, we will be talking also about the special kinds of right triangles. So by knowing these special kinds of right triangles, we meron palang special kinds of right triangles. We will be discussing it in this lesson. So as always, we have here now our aim. And at the end of this lesson, you should be able to we only have here now two aims. Have an insight in right triangle similarity. So how can we say that we have here now uh, two right triangles that can be considered similar? So let's have an insight here after this lesson. And the second aim is for us to know the two kinds. So we only have here now two kinds of special right triangles and Aside from no knowing that, we have to identify the length of its sides. Which means, pag given yung isang part lang ng sides ng special kinds of right triangle, the remaining sides will be known to us. Okay? So those two are our aim. So sana ma-achieve po natin. Okay, since we are talking about right triangle, we will be starting our lesson with a simple question, what is right triangle? So, ano ba yung right triangle na pinag-uusapan natin? So, a right triangle is a triangle having one right angle. And the measure of one right angle is 90 degree angle. So, 90 degrees yung sukat. So, halimbawa, if we have here now a triangle, it is a right triangle. And just like any other triangle, we can name it using the vertices. So, it doesn't matter kung counterclockwise or clockwise yung pagpapangalan ninyo as long as magkakasunod. Anyway, tatlo lang naman yan, walang problema. A, C, B, or A, B, C. So, tinanong ko ito dati dun sa face-to-face -face class ko. So, sabi ko, bakit one right angle lang? Hindi ba pwedeng dalawa? So, may nagsagot agad. Sure, pwede. Alam niyo naman, di ba? So, sabi ko, bakit? Tanong ulit. What is the total... Uh, measure of all the interior angles ng triangle. Kahit anong klaseng triangle yan. So the answer will be 180 degrees. So kung dalawang right angle sa isang triangle, 90 plus 90 will give us 180. What will happen dun sa pangatlong angle natin? So sabi ko dun sa estudyante, anak, hindi po pwede. Which means, yung dalawang natitirang angle, those two are both acute angles. Okay? Now, the two sides forming the right angle are called legs. Yung dalawang side ng right triangle natin, eto yun, na bumubuo sa right angle natin, these two. What are those sides? A, C, at saka C, B. These two are called the legs. So, legs na naman. Okay? Para doon sa trapezoid natin, sa isosceles trapezoid. Sa right triangle natin, yung nagbubuo ng right angle natin, these are called the legs. The side opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse. Again, when we are talking about opposite sa math, katapat na len. Right angle, eto. At the same time, ito na lang yung natitirang side natin. 
So this is called the hypotenuse. Pakitandaan, hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse is the longest side in a right triangle. Ito siya. Oh. AB is the hypotenuse. Ayan, side AB. AC and CB, these are called the legs of the right triangle. And as I have mentioned before, the sum of the interior angles of the triangle, of the right triangle, or any triangle, is 180 degrees. Therefore, the two remaining acute angles, as I have mentioned, these two are both acute angles, has a sum equal to 90 degrees. Pag ito lang dalawa, angle A at saka angle B, ang i-add mo, 90 degrees. Bakit? Kasi may 90 degrees na tayo dito. That will make our lives much simpler. Okay? Now, when we are going to talk about right triangle, dadaanan din natin itong geometric mean theorem. So, ano ba ito? In a right triangle, if the altitude drawn from, so galing saan? The right angle to the hypotenuse, coming from the right angle papunta po sa longest side, divides the hypotenuse into two segments, hinati yung mahaba sa dalawang parte, then the length of the altitude is the geometric mean of the length of the two segments. Whoa! Sir, nosebleed. Hindi na namin naiintindihan. Okay, sample tayo. So we have here now the right triangle. Ayan yung mga pangalan natin. Naisama ko na kagad yung D. This is the right angle. Ang sabi, if we will be drawing segment coming from the right angle papunta sa hypotenuse. Ayan. Pag sinabi natin altitude, this is synonymous to height. So yung height natin palaging perpendicular dun sa base natin. So dahil papunta sa hypotenuse, this will serve as the height. It will form a right angle. Okay po? So it doesn't matter kung nakaikot yan. Basta coming from the 90 degree angle, papunta sa hypotenuse, kailangan makaform siya ng 90 degree angle. So then, the length of the altitude, ito raw, yung haba nito, is the geometric mean of the length of the two segments. Asan yung nahating segment sa ating hypotenuse? AD and DB. Okay? Ito raw yung geometric mean. Ngayon, maaari malilito tayo. Sir, uh, parang nakakalito pa rin yung geometric mean theorem. Okay, pasimplihin ko na lang. Ano, dun sa paraang mas maiintindihan natin. Okay. So, the moment that we draw an altitude coming from the right angle dun sa loob ng ating right triangle, nagkaroon pa tayo ng dalawa pang mas maliliit na right triangle. Yung una nating right triangle, ACB, the biggest one, sa loob niya meron tayong maliit na right triangle, CDA at saka CDB. So, technically speaking, we have here now three right triangles. Isang line lang yung idinrowing natin, nakabuo na tayo ngayon ng tatlong right triangles. And those three right triangles are similar to each other. Yung tatlong yun, magkakasimilar. Sa mga tweet, may corresponding side po yung bawat right triangle na yan. Okay po. So, subukan natin. Ito. AC. Where is AC? Ito. AC. This side. Over AD. AD. Ayan. So, kung makapansin natin, ito yung ating malaking right triangle. Ito yung shorter leg. So, ang corresponding part niya na AD, this is the shorter leg po nung atin pong pinakamaliit na right triangle. So, sila yung magka-ratio dito. So, equals BC. Asan yung BC? Ito. This is the longer leg. Doon naman po sa pinakamalaki nating right triangle. So, over CD. Ito yung CD. This is the longer leg. Doon sa pinakamaliit nating right triangle. So, I hope you're getting the idea here. And... This is also equal, ano pa yung pwedeng i-proportion po natin? AB, so yung AB natin, this is the longest side or the hypotenuse nung pinakamalaki po nating right triangle. 
and AC, this one, this is the longest side or the hypotenuse no pinakamaliit naman nating right triangle. So, ang kinocompare dito, smallest and the biggest triangle. So, tanong, yun lang ba? Eh, sabi natin, tatlo yan. So, ano yung pwede pa nating i-compare? Eto, pakita na natin. This is the medium and biggest triangle. Asan yung medium? Eto, CDB at yung biggest, ACB. So, DC, eto, DC, ano ito? Ito yung shorter leg dun sa ating medium na right triangle. Over CA, ano yung CA? Shorter leg nung pinakamalaking right triangle. You're getting the idea? So, sana po. Ano? DB, eto, ano itong DB? This is the longer leg dun sa medium size ng ating right triangle. So, pagdating sa pinakamalaki, yung CB naman, eto yung atin pong longer leg. Tama. Longer leg ito. And, CB, etong CB, the same CB, na longer leg dun sa malaki, eto naman po yung hypotenuse dito sa medium. Hypotenuse siya dito. At ang katumbas na hypotenuse dun sa pinakamalaking right triangle, yung AB. Ang kinompare, medium at biggest triangle. So, yung third po natin, eto, AD, okay, eto ay sa medium and smallest triangle. So, eto po yung AD, ang katumbas niya sa medium, ay, sorry, CD, ayun, shorter leg. CD naman, eto yung longer leg dito sa maliit na triangle, Ang longer leg naman po dito sa medium natin ay DB. Ayun. At yung AC natin, this is the hypotenuse dun sa shorter natin, shorter or sorry, sa smallest right triangle, ang hypotenuse naman sa medium, CB. So the important part here po, ma-identify natin kung ano po yung triangle na ikino-compare natin. So, para po mabilis po natin makikita kung ano po yung nawawala. So, mamaya sa example, we will be having an example about this one. Okay? Next, we have here now the isosceles right triangle. Let's talk about the special kinds of right triangle. One of them is called the isosceles right. So, the measure of all the angles, 45, 45, 90 degrees. So, ano yung dapat natin malaman? The length of the hypotenuse is equal to one of the legs multiplied by square root of 2. Let's have here now an example. Ito. So, ito yung right angle. Sa mga tuwid, ito yung legs. Ito, hypotenuse. And if we will be having A, A, ayan. Ang sabi kasi, sir, but A, A? Kasi magkaparehas lang ang sukat ito at saka nito. Kaya nga ay so celeste right triangle. And then, ang sabi, ang haba daw ng hypotenuse is equal to one of the legs, kokopyahin mo lang, multiplied by square root of 2. Sample tayo. If A is equal to 4, kung 4 ito, then, the hypotenuse is, kopyahin yung isa, dikitan mo lang ng square root of 2. So, this is 4 square root of 2. Okay? Now, if A is 4 square root of 2, Eto. So, dahil ito yung A, multiply mo pa yung A sa square root of 2. Ayan, o. Oh, para makuha mo yung hypotenuse. So, this will give us square root of 2 times square root of 2. Makakancel lang po yung ating square root. So, magiging 2. 4 times 2. The hypotenuse here is 8. Now, the technique that we are teaching to our students, kapag ang one of the legs is a whole number, ang hypotenuse may square root of 2. Kapag naman ang legs po natin ay merong square root of 2, i-multiply mo lang yung 4 dun sa nasa loob. O i-multiply mo yung whole number dun sa nasa loob ng radical. Ayun yung magiging sagot natin dito. Okay po? So, yun yung simple lang. Ano po? Now, likewise, if the hypotenuse is the given, 
and we are looking for the value of the leg, we simply divide the hypotenuse by square root of 2. Sample tayo. If the hypotenuse is 4 square root of 2, ito, by dividing it by square root of 2, we will be having 4 square root of 2 all over square root of 2. So, makaka-answer lang ito. Ang matitira sa atin, 4. Therefore, the value of A, so yung isang leg, will be equal to 4. Now, if the hypotenuse is 4, ayan, wala namang square root. By dividing it by square root of 2, we will be having 4 over square root of 2. Now, we're not accepting this. We rationalize the denominator. So, paano yun? By multiplying it by 1. So, yung 1, instead na mayroon ilagay, is square root of 2 over square root of 2. So, do natin multiply itong given. That will give us 2. 4 square root of 2 times square root of 2 over square root of 2. So, ito magiging 2 na lang. 4 is square root of 2. Ayan. And then, sir, pwede tayo mag-simplify dito. 4 at saka 2, cancel natin. We will be having 2 square root of 2. So, if the given is a whole number, the value of our leg has square root of 2 in it. If the hypotenuse has the square root of 2, one of the leg will be whole number. Anyway, both legs are equal here because we have here our isosceles right triangle. So, sana naiintindihan po natin, ano? So again, if we have here now some questions, we will appreciate it pag po nag-comment kayo sa comment section. Iparating niyo po sa amin kung saan lugar kayo nahihirapan sa topic natin. Or magulo po yung pagpapaliwanag po ni sir. We will try to enlighten kung paano po namin i-deliver. Okay, another one is the 30, 60, 90 degree right triangle. So dito naman ang sabi, in this kind of special kind of right triangle, ito na yung pangalawa. The shorter leg is equal to one half of the length of the hypotenuse. And the longer leg is equal to the length of the shorter leg times square root of 3. Pakita natin. Ito yung right triangle. Obviously, ito yung 30 degrees. Ito yung 60. Ito yung 90 degrees. Now, Eti yung shorter leg, eti yung longer leg, eti yung hypotenuse. Ang inilagay ko na dito ay 4, hypotenuse. Ang leg, 2. Ang longer leg, 2 square root of 3. Now, sa mga books, makikita nyo 1, tapos dito, 1 half. And then, pagdating dito, square root of 3 over 2. So, dun po nagkakaroon pa ng confusion. So, that's the reason why naglagay na ako dito ng mas malaking number. So, this is the hypotenuse. Palagi po, the shorter leg is always one half of the hypotenuse. So, ito lang yung given sa atin. Asa yung shorter leg? Ito, kalahati lang. Bakit? Kasi itong 30, 60, uh, 90 degrees, nanggaling po yan sa equilateral triangle 60, 60, 60 naglagay ng uh, altitude dito so yung 60 natin naging 30 60, 90 so kung, ay, uh, kung equilateral yan 4, 4 at saka 4 sa baba nung nahati, naging kalahati na lang dito okay po so, eto naman po yung 2 square root of 3 natin. Kukopihin mo lang yung kalahati, kabitan mo ng square root of 3. The longer leg opposite the 60 degree angle is equal dun sa kalahati, sh shorter leg natin, multiplied by square root of 3. So, kung ito ay 2, ang sukat natin dito ay 1. At ang sukat natin dito, square root of 3 lang. Sir, bakit nawala yung 1? Kasi automatic may 1 dito. So halimbawa, 
Ang sukat ko dito ay 3. Ito. Ano ang sukat nito? Okay, yung iba, sir, 1 and a half. Hindi, itong given ko eh. Shorter leg, 3. Sa mga tweet, i-multiply mo sa 2, yun ang sukat ng hypotenuse natin. Which means, ito ay magiging 6. Ito, ang sukat nito? Kung ito ay 3, ito ay 3 square root of 3. Ganun lang po kasimple. So, sana po na itatawid kung maayos sa inyo. Okay? Now, let's have here now an example for solving for the unknown side. Yung kaninang pinakita ko, yung may geometric mean tayo. So, ito yung given. Oops, naiwanan yung A. Ayun. Solve for the missing part. If AD, as in yung AD ito, is 4, CA ito, is 12, what is BA? Ayan. So, tingnan natin kung ano mangyayari. Identify the triangles that we are comparing to. Ito yung una. So, itong AD natin ay shorter leg nitong maliit. Yun lang naman yung pwede eh. Sa mga tweed, yung CA, hindi mo pwedeng sabihin shorter leg nitong medium. Shorter leg yung CA dun sa pinakamalaki. And at the same time, dahil nabanggit na natin yung CA, yung CA po natin ay hypotenuse nitong maliit. At yung BA ay hypotenuse nung malaki. So the two triangles that we are comparing ay yung pong pinakamaliit at pinakamalaki. So have the corresponding side set as a proportion. So yung sides po natin na given, proportion tayo. CA, ito, pinakamalaki, or ito po yung ating maliit na leg dun sa pinakamalaking triangle. Ang kapartner niya, AD. Ito yung shorter leg dun sa smallest right triangle. Equals, BA, ito, hypotenuse of the uh, biggest right triangle. Ano mga hypotenuse ng maliit? CA. After this, anong gagawin? Let BA equals X. Yung walang value or nawawala, ilagay natin X. Substitute natin yung mga given dito. Ayan. So, 12 over 4 equals X over 12. So, wag muna natin pong isimplify. So, ito, 3 ka agad. Wag muna. Iayos natin. So, multiply, cross, multiply, 4X. And then, kailangan lang natin yung x, we divide both sides by 4. And x is equal to 36. Now, may mga nagsasabi, sir, pwede ko naman i-simplify ka agad. Pwede. But what I'm teaching here is step by step. Sir, pwede ito na lang, ilagay ko doon. 12 times 12 all over 4. That is also correct. You can simplify it. Kaya lang, ang kinukuha po natin, Sir, masyado kasi mahaba ito. Hindi. Step by step muna. Once we are familiar with the step by step process, mabilis na tayo makakaisip ng short method. And that is our aim. So the answer here is 36. Let's have another one. If AD, this one again, is 4. So yung AD, obviously, this is the shorter leg dun sa pinakamaliit nating right triangle. And DB equals 9. DB. Uy. So, yung DB natin, this is the uh, longer leg dun sa medium natin. What is CD? Ayan. Ano yung CD? Now, yung CD or the geometric mean here is dun sa maliit na triangle, this is the longer leg. Pero dun sa medium natin, Medium right triangle, this is the shorter leg. So, dalawa yung ginagampanan nitong CD. So, again, na-identify na natin, nagawa na tayo ng proportion. AD, shorter leg is to CD. Shorter leg na len, nung malaking or nung medium na triangle. Equals, sir, but CD ulit? Kasi yung CD, the same CD that we are uh, talking to, 
or talking about, should I say, is the longer leg dun sa pinakamaliit nating right triangle. Okay? At ang longer naman, longer leg naman dun sa medium natin is DB. Anong nawawala? CD. Let CD is equal to X. Substitute na natin yung mga values. 4 over X is equal to X over 9. Cross multiply. 36 is equal to square of X or X squared. Now, we are only looking for the value of X. So, we extract the square root of 36N square root of X. Ayan. Para makancel na yung square at saka yung square root. What is the square root of 36? 6. So, the value of X is equal to 6. So, ganun lang po yung gagawin natin. Okay? So, para po masubukan po muna ninyo, it's your turn. So, ito yung given. Solve for the unknown side. Ano ang given natin? If CD is 4, BC is 9, ayan na, CA is 16, what is BA? Okay po. So, ito. CD is 4, and then BC is 9, CA is 16, what is BA? So, alamin po kung ano po yung ikinocompare na dalawang right triangle and then make a proportion out of it, solve for the value of X. Or for the unknown side. I'm going to give you 2 minutes. Kasi simple lang naman po yan. At the same time, pag may konti tayong pressure, mas napupwersa tayong gumana yung isip natin. Okay? So, try it out guys. Two minutes. So again, sa mga estudyante po namin na tinatapos yung video lecture, yung totoo po, we're very thankful kasi ang layo namin matuto kayo. And at the same time, tinatapos yung lecture, which proves na gusto nyo matuto. Yung iba kasi sisimulan lang, tapos-tapos na. Yun lang i-comment na yun natutunan. But it will reflect kung paano nyo i-handle. At the same time, once po na nagkaroon na ng face-to-face -face class, makikita nyo yung uh, laking ninyo dahil nagpabaya sa panahon ngayon. So, what we are trying to teach here is to gain more knowledge, to accumulate more knowledge even at this time na medyo nasa bahay tayo. Alam namin maraming distraction. To be honest, mas marami kaming trabaho ngayon na nasa bahay compared nung face-to-face. -face. So, mas mahirap ngayon i-separate yung personal lives namin kaysa dun sa professional lives namin bilang guro. Sa ngayon, minsan nagkakahalo na. Okay? Pero, kagaya nung binanggit ko, our aim is for the learners to learn. So, we are trying our best. We're actually using different means para lang maabot po kayo. And to share something na alam po namin na matututo po kayo. So, sana lamang po Bear with us and help yourselves. No po? Dahil kahit anong kagustuhan namin, kahit sino pa pong guro, kahit gaano kagaling, at gustong matuto kayo, kung hindi po ninyo gugustuhin sa sarili ninyo, hindi po namin kayo matuturoan ng ayos. 30 seconds, guys. So sana may naiintindihan po tayo, no? Okay, so time is up. Our answer should be 36. Now, if you have correct answer, well and good. Nakuha po ninyo yung uh, pinapagawa natin. Now, sir, mali yung sagot ko. Try to look back 
pwede naman nating ulitin tong lecture na to. Try to look back ano po yung pagkakamali natin. Saan pa tayo pwede mag-improve? Normally, sa ganitong klaseng problema, the main problem is the analysis. Ano yung dalawang right triangle na i-compare po natin. So, sana lang po ay naintindihan natin. Okay? So, that will be our topic for today. Again, sana wag po tayong tumigil sa pagkatuto. Even kung ano man po yung problema ang hinaharap natin. Let's just continue in our path sa pagkatuto po. Ano man po yung harapin natin, let's move forward guys. Tutulungan namin kayo, tulungan nyo rin yung sarili nyo. Now, again, we are also human, baka mamaya meron kaming hindi napansin. Iba yung nasa isip namin, iba yung sinasabi namin sa mga lectures po namin. Please, help us. Do uh, drop a comment kung meron kayo napansin. Para lang po matulungan din namin yung mas marami. Again, guys, this is your Sir Ian saying, keep on learning. Salute to all learners that wants to learn. And sana po, may natutunan tayo and we can move sa next level. So, hanggang sa susunod po ulit, this is your Sir Ian saying, bye-bye now.